Yeah, I'll bet Kane wasn't expecting that. Not many people could say they got the jump on Kane. Who could ever forget Kane's debut at Bad Blood 1997 when he literally tore the door off Hell in a Cell to get at his brother, The Undertaker. Yeah, and since that time, he's left an impressive path of destruction in his wake. spring left in his step right now. These no DQ matches are so dangerous. Hey, what's that? Oh, and did you hear the impact? And he gets leveled. He's got a nasty looking object in his hand. These superstars will do whatever it takes to win here tonight. to the head. Nothing fancy about that. Oh, man. He got him. Whoa. He's measuring. Oh, jeez. And he gets escorted back through the ropes. Just trying to goad his opponent into making a mistake here. He's having a seriously hard time getting back to his feet after that. He almost took his head off with that lariat. And he goes flying down to the concrete. Let me remind everybody, there are no count outs. These competitors can stay out here as long as they like. here. Kane showing some expert prowess here. And there he goes under the bottom rope. And maybe some order will be restored here. What's the next move for Kane to turn things around quickly to remain in this thing? Oh, back to the head. Back. He thinks he has it. Wins. And here's just some of the action we saw during the match. And here's some highlights from the matchup. What is he doing here? He's letting everyone know that he wants the title. I think he's just jealous that these two are being considered for the number one contender spot. 